you've got one monitor, but you want to be able to show participants the full screen slide and still see the notes you typed into your PowerPoint, it, which is in presenter view. And maybe you also want to see the chat and the participant list and also the videos of the participants in the room. I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start, we're going to click on the share screen option on Zoom, and we're going to select the PowerPoint in edit mode. This is not yet in presentation mode. Now, this is not what you want to be showing your participants, but this is a step you take before letting all the participants in from the waiting room. So you click on slideshow. You'll probably open up here on home and you'll click on slideshow. And then on the next menu down, you'll choose presenter view, which is the third icon in on the next row. Now, what you're sharing now is your presenter view, which is the notes, which is not what you want to be sharing with everyone else. But this is the, all you have to do for the moment. And now you're going to hit stop share. When it's time for you to share your slides, you'll then click again on share screen. And this time, instead of choosing the edit mode or the presenter view, you'll choose the full screen presentation. Now, you're now showing participants the full screen. That's not what you want to be seeing, though. So you'll go down to the bottom left corner, and there are three dots. Click on those three dots and choose Use Presenter View. Voila. Now you're seeing the presenter view with your notes. Participants are still seeing the full screen slide. You can test this by having a friend join you on Zoom, and you can take turns setting this up to make sure that what you want people to be seeing is, in fact, what you're showing. Now, a couple of notes here. These are your uh, the notes that you've written out. We're going to want to bring them higher up on the screen. By default, they're kind of low. We want to bring them as close to the camera as possible. You may even want to move them over a little bit and just write in short phrases, bulleted points, because then you can kind of glance down. Unfortunately, the upcoming slide is sort of in the way, and you can't bring this all the way to the camera. But you do want to look at the camera as much as possible. Now, it's possible that you'll want to stop share at some point to talk directly to the camera. And then if you were to click on your uh, PowerPoint slide to advance it behind the scenes, where did the Zoom go? Don't fret. You can actually pull this up by tabbing through all the open applications. If you're on a PC, you're going to hit Control, hold that down, and then hit Tab a few times until you get to the application. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to click Command and then click on tab. And now I've tabbed over and then Zoom pops back up. When you shit share screen again, and you choose now the next slide, which is up, you'll notice at the top of your screen, whenever you're sharing your slides is a floating toolbar. Now from this floating toolbar, you can always open up chat and open up the participant window. If these are things that will be helpful to you, you'll be able to still keep an eye on the chat see the full participant list, and you can always move the list, the, the uh, view of all the participants above at the top. So you'll have something to look at while you're looking at the camera. And if they're, it'll sort of form a little, a little row of videos. So that'll be helpful. If you want to see more participants than just the six, if you want to see a whole bunch of folks, there is a way to do it. When you've got more than six participants in the room, there'll actually be four icons up here at the top of the first video. The fourth one will have the nine squares that you'll usually see when you're choosing gallery view. You click on that and then just drag this out and it'll drag out to show you 24 videos. I hope this has been helpful. This is a way for you to be able to show the full screen of the PowerPoint while still seeing your notes and chat and participant list and all the videos of your participants or at least 24 of them. I hope this was helpful. Reach out if you have any questions. Cheers.